Today I'm talking about the Sony 16 juice box camera. Many years ago, my girlfriend Steph was gifted this little toy camera and she recently pulled it out of storage. I decided I wanted to give it a go and shoot some Lomography 800. So I was sort of unsure what the results were gonna be like, but I was actually kind of surprised. This little juice box camera is cute and simple in design. It's got a realistic sort of juice box print on the outside with real ingredients printed. It has a straw shaped uh, shutter button. It's 35 millimeter lens is so sleek and minimalistic in design that not even the great Carl Zeiss could ever design something this incredible. <laughs> you failed me Carl. <laughs> Just kidding, it's just one sheet of plastic shit. There's also a small viewfinder up the top and on the bottom you have your film counter and your film rewind lever. Camera also rattles like a maraca. <laughs> Not very promising. <laughs> the camera is actually simple enough to load with a nice little take up spool. Uh, it's actually a bit better than some point and shoots I've seen. The camera's also a decent pocket size. Fits in most pockets, unless you're wearing tight jeans. It's probably going to look pretty boxy sticking out of your ass. When shooting with the camera, I actually had a few issues. Uh, one of the main problems was the shutter button is actually quite hard to press. It takes a bit of force, there's a bit of resistance there. And that means that you can bump the camera as you're taking the shot and you just lose a bit of focus. I also found with a few shots that my stupid fingers kept getting in the way. Uh, I think just the way I was holding the camera, they kind of just drifted into that lens spot. I know I've mentioned simple a lot, and I know you might be thinking this camera has no functions doesn't have your fake panorama and your flash and your red eye reduction. But you know what? You're limiting your imagination because with some simple rigging, this camera can become anything. Like for instance, the vlog rig, the party rig, the underwater rig, the abomination, the prison cell rig. I just wanted to talk about a few of my favorite photos now. One of my definite favorites was this one of Cal on his boat, just his little dome of his castle, his little head peeking out of the bunker, and just the cheese and bacon scroll in his hand. I just thought it was, you know, had a bit of character to it. Another favorite was this selfie. I was actually surprised I got it, got this photo sharper than others, um, just purely because of the situation, but hey, takes a good selfie. Overall, this camera is cute in design, but functionality is a bit tricky. There's an on and off switch for your shutter, which makes no sense to me, because the thing is so hard to press anyways, I can't imagine I would accidentally press it. Other frustrating things is it has no flash. Even the most plastic of plastic garbage cameras have a built-in flash. Also, the camera doesn't focus to infinity. Understandably, a lot of cameras like this don't, if they're simple lenses, but it's frustrating nonetheless. Um, but it is cute and I did get a couple of photos I liked. This would be a fun thing to have for a little kid just to blast away or, you know, a cool camera to hold. But yeah, in the end, it's, it's a five out of 10 for me. It's five grapes out of a pineapple. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking. You know what? Look after yourself, love yourself, eat some fruit and go shoot whatever the bloody hell you want. Now get out of here.
Bye.